Guys, I got a beautiful 1967 Camaro sitting here at Maple Motors. Y'all are gonna like this one, if you like resto mods. LS1, this motor has been built, got too much to list. I've got a sheet in there I can put on the screen and show you, but the basics here, we've got a cam, we've got power steering, power brakes. And I love the way they put it in here and you got the extra plates that they've added. This one's got AC, it's got cruise control. I mean, come on. This brakes, we got drum in the rear, we got aftermarket set of Riddler wheels. They went with a black, matte black theme from your wing and your hood uh, and your lower bumpers front and rear as you can see it's going black all the way down backup camera on this one not that it matters six speed transmission and a 1999 model interior look at this huh that's pretty unique there i guess they just took one car and matched them together but a lot of money's been spent on this car and it runs and drives off I actually drove it when it first came in there's detailed pictures there's financing and shipping on this one be sure to hit subscribe, share this video. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Huh, it's even got the bell from a 99 Camaro. Looking at our console here. Gas gauge. Well, from what it says, we're empty. We're gonna go and get gas for sure. The interior. Headliner needs to be tightened up. Front part looks wonderful. The back needs to be tightened up. I'm gonna call that a mechanic's headliner. Does this work? Does it hold my phone? Barely. Let's see if I take off my battery pack. I mean, this car's fast. It's gonna fall off there. Somebody put their phone holder up there. Uh, we got a radio on the dash here. Let's see if we cut it on. Somehow or another. One of these buttons cuts it on. We got power acoustic. I used to buy those radios. Been a while since I've seen a power acoustic. I've actually seen this radio on. I don't know uh, how to cut it on now. But, as far as I can tell, it's not cutting on. I may not be hitting the right button. We'll try the AC. Give her a second to cool off. It's not coming through these vents yet. Should be flipping. It's not working exactly right. Let's see if it's coming out of the floor. It doesn't feel super cold either. And it's just barely trickling out. I'm gonna say maybe the AC needs work. May just need a recharge not pulling down on the motor when I turn it on either so lower motors work in there six-speed shifter that's traction control button but I don't guess it matters fog lights turn signals left one's blinking right is blinking there tilt column place your bets did they hook up the horn when they did this build I actually don't know let's try it out and they did <laughs> All right, lights are automatic. They cut on when you cut the car on. Um, other than that, I think we're good. Wipers, wipers. Yep. You got to cut them off though. So you play that game. I got them down to the bottom. If I get the radio on, I'll let you know. I mean, it does have a backup camera. I just don't know how to turn this radio on. So let's hit the road. See what else we can find. Okay, I have drove this car before because, like I said, I was interested. Um, just noticed there's no seatbelt. Yeah, I've seen seatbelts in the trunk when I did the walk around. I did the walk around first because I cleaned the engine bay myself and did a few things myself. Uh, but yeah, I was interested in buying this one. The only reason I didn't buy is I got no room in my garages until I clean out one of them. That and I've got enough Camaros right now, and I wanted a '69, so we're only off two years. But it's the same drivetrain that I'm wanting. I like the LS platform here, and I like the six-speed. And this one is a tight car. Um, you gotta love the '99 interior here. 
I'm more of an old school guy when it comes to the interiors. I kind of want them to be old school, but this is totally different. You're not really going to see this at a car show. That's another thing that I was like, man, do I like it? No, I don't. I, do I not? I, I couldn't decide. So I just went ahead and let it go on the lot because we constantly get inventory. I'll have another chance. Looks like we are at running temp. Uh, engine tip, engine oil pressure is at 45. Gas gauges are both on E. We're going straight to the gas station. We are charging. It's showing 125,000 miles on the dash, which that was from the previous car. And I know this car will... this could be it drives straight down the road too like i said i've already previously driven this ride speedometer's working checking our brakes again pretty good it really does shift out nice <laughs> starting to make me uh regret letting it go to the lot <laughs> Tight. The seats are comfortable, and I mentioned their power, which kind of get relaxed in here. It's sitting up a little high, but you can push it down and get it to where it won't be as high. Do I turn around and keep it? <laughs> All right. Let's just get some fuel in it. We'll check these gauges. I want to see if either one of them works because we got one in here for a reason. So I'm going to say that's the one that works. But they both of them might be broke too. I don't know. About to find out. I'll be back. All right, guys. Got $20 worth of fuel in this ride here. We'll check both gauges and see what's going on with them. Cap goes on pretty good. Just twist and go. Let's see. All right, we're jumping in the interior here. That gauge is not doing a thing. What about this one? Well, that gauge is not doing a thing. We don't have a gas gauge in this car, but we got two. What sense does that make? Either way. Oh, yeah. So we're getting ready to take off here. No gas gauge, but we know we got $20 worth of fuel, so we're looking at five gallons there. We're good to go. Let's rock.
okay so y'all don't know this but i have been working on my sound quality here and if you look up in the camera it's covered in this phone now um i didn't even know they made such a thing until i started researching more of it it works i've noticed it cut down on the wind noise and i don't even have to have a wind filter on unless i'm like you know going 30 mile an hour so what do y'all think about the audio quality is it any better let me know this car here it's pulling all my strings man it really is it's getting to me that i didn't pick it up typically once i go ahead and start making the videos i don't i don't turn around and go back the other direction but this thing drives so good it's not a sales pitch you'll see when you drive it it's it's good it's got a few little things that need to be fixed uh, the stuff that i would work on you know is gas gauge first after that i try to figure out why the air is not blowing super cold and i figured out one reason why when i pull i pulled this out there's no ducts running to this vent i haven't pulled this out well i guess you can there is a duct running to that vent it's missing a clip there that's why this is loose you hear it clipping in well we got one clip missing i didn't even know that would come out like that but now it's pressed up against the dash and it's clipped in there you can see it um i assume there's not a duct ran to that vent over there i would think there would be one here so you should have it here there and on the floor for sure of course i need to look but i'm sure the box is down there this has definitely got a highway gear it's just a good set up if you wanted the fuel injection talk about speed i mean i go ahead and just let the clutch out get into the gas just spins the tires same with second gear suspension's nice on this one too oh came back out those clips need to be redone on the back side of this you can hear them trying to hold i shouldn't have pulled on it but i messed it up there's just a few minor things that need to be buttoned up on this one um None of that bothered me. Main main thing is, I got a new member coming to the family. I need to be careful. <laughs> Here we go. Running and driving wise, it's great. And the seats, they're pretty comfortable. I don't know if y'all have driven a 99 or 2000 model-ish Camaro before, but the seats in this one are pretty comfortable. All right, we're getting ready to pull through Brides Motorsports now. You wind up buying it? No, I'm videoing it right now. <laughs> See, I told you. I've been on the fence about this car all week. Brides Motorsports is a cool spot to get wheels, tires, parts, and accessories. If you haven't checked them out before, I do suggest checking them out. What's up? What's up, man? <laughs> Give him a little tire spinach through there. But yeah, look them up, BrianSmotorsports.com. We got good vitals, 35, 40 on the oil pressure. It looks like it's bouncing a little bit. There's a little screen on those a lot of times. So it might get a little dirt in it too. And I've seen them completely shut off before because of the screen is not reading correctly. Um, engine temperature is right at 210, which is perfectly fine. We're charging again with the gas gauge. It's one of our buddies. Gas gauge is just not working. Let's look at this one more time. Nothing. And this is a little tight there. Interior throws me off a little bit, but honestly, since I've been driving it, I don't mind it so much. And I'm totally used to the driving experience here. It ships wonderfully. Just stick around, guys. Picking out the flaws is coming up next. I kind of hate letting this one go right now. There will be more. There will be more. All right. Later.
Let's walk this ride. Anything I find, you'll know about it. We're going to start up here in the front. So they got rid of that front bumper. Have y'all ever seen those? Uh, I know you have. The big valence wings that go around the bottom. I feel like this car needs that. I mean, it doesn't have to have it. It actually looks kind of cool the way it is. But it is missing that front bumper. <clears throat> what do y'all think? I'd have to see it up there. It looks like we got a crack right here in this light. The grill looks pretty clean. Got a few little chips here. I mean, that's from <laughs> your tire. Little mark there that's been touched up. Back tire is nice and clean. Midsection. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I borderline almost took this car home. Little chips here. But, y'all didn't know this, I have a little baby on the way. So, I've got enough cars right now. Need to chill for a second. Y'all didn't know that. It's a new thing. All spots here, chip under there. Front windshield looks nice and clean. Mirror, good shape. And to be honest with you, I love Camaros. I love all the years, almost. But my favorite year is 69 because of the body line is a little bit different. And that's mainly what I'm looking for. But I do want an LS six speed car. And I love this color. This is a beautiful color. I actually just had the trunk open. It just shut on me for some reason. We'll go and get the keys to that. It's like they blacked out the back bumper to match the theme of the car underneath this chrome. You can see the chrome specs. A little wash mitt spot there. Backup camera on this one. It's kind of funny. Isn't it? <clears throat> Let's go get the keys, open the trunk. I wonder if the button works. I don't think that button works, but. To get the trunk open, all you gotta do is push this button. Let's see. Prove me wrong, I guess. Huh. Oh. Well, took a bunch of clicks. First time I opened it, I only took one push of the button. Seat belts, extra door, window cranks. They put little short knobs for the window cranks in there. They've got like a dynamat. Oh, there's water in here. I'm gonna put this over here. So we do have a trunk leak. Just a small amount. Package tray is super solid and clean. Seal looks new. So your water leak's probably gonna come from the back window. And it's shut. You got a crack in the paint right here. Coming down this side. Little spots there. Here as well. Chips at the bottom. Little scuff. Chip there in the door. You got some chips up here in the front. Again, from the big old tire. They do have a black set of Riddlers on here. I guess they were going for the theme. Spot that's been touched up there. Little chips. Spot there. It's like little cracks in the paint. Slight little bubbles there. It's not rust. It's going to be chemical peel. It's 
little bit of trash got up under the paint when it was getting painted. Mirrors are blacked out. Light scratch on top of the fender. That actually looks like it'll come right out. That's awesome. Fits right in there, just perfect. Touch up mark there. A little tape here, I guess, where they try to touch it up to. All right, let's check out that interior. And it's pretty wild. So they've done some different door panels on this one. Put a little shorty knob on there because it'll hit the uh, dash. And of course, this dash is out uh, early 2000s Camaro. Um, spot in the seat's been patched up. You could buy the sleeves for the lower portion. I'm assuming you could probably buy them for the upper area. But honestly, if you got an upholstery guy to replace this piece here, that would look pretty good. That's what my thoughts were when I first seen this car. Back seat, I would change out. It looks okay. But it's just too plain Jane. It needs a little bit more cool design. But it's fine. Still cushiony. When it cranks, I guess this one in the the ones in the trunk could work on these. Yeah, it looks like that's the one that's in the trunk. I'll hold that panel in better. Package tray, just basic fabric back there. Headliner needs to be tightened up. And your trim is kind of pushed out. That needs to be locked in. Carpet is clean in this one. I like that look. Kick panels with some speakers. Passenger seat. The edge of that seat looks good. Let's look at the bottom of the door. Here's the edge. Now what they've done here on top of the dash is they've added a bit of fabric. And they put some like Allen head screws. Come on. There we go. Cracking the dash there. Oh, it's like a phone holder. What is this way? You just push it in. Not much to it. Gas gauge. I don't know why they put it inside the glove box here. Starter up. I wonder if it's got a neutral safety switch or not. We're about to find out. I won't push the clutch in. We'll see if it starts. Nope, gotta push the clutch in. That light is gonna stay on because it doesn't have like a sensor deal. The uh, radiator is full. The overflow is a bottle tight overflow, so just not going to cut off. The light's going to be on. She's quiet. She's clean. Look at you. Custom plate up front. This also is custom. I mean, you can buy that stuff online, but it definitely is aftermarket. Get a cover for this. You can see, there's a leaf in there now. Let me get that out. They got uh, 
Actually, I, rep I had a 2000 Camaro Taos. I'll replace these with uh, fillet ones. It just looks cooler. Not necessary. But since that cover's gone, just get both of them and you'll have fillet. That'd be pretty cool. Lights are on and working. Spot there in the hood. Inspect there and there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit subscribe and share. Detailed pictures, financing, and shipping is available at maplemotors.com. I do enjoy my job, so sharing and liking and uh, subscribing to my channel is going to benefit me quite a bit. And I do appreciate that. I, I've always appreciated that. It's made it to where I can have this as a daily job. Again, maplemotors.com. Go there, check it out. And I'll see you later.